Welcome students to class 3 maths lesson 1 numbers and number names session 4. I would like to tell you about the video. I have divided the video into three parts. First part we discuss the solutions of the worksheet that is given in the previous video. This is very important. Do not skip this part because this brushes up your previous concept. Second part a new concept is introduced and the third part a worksheet is given based on the new concept. Those of you who are new to the channel, I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get a notification as soon as I upload a video. Let us look at the solutions of worksheet 3. Worksheet 3 was shared in the previous video. Question 1. Arrange the numerals in the place value table. The first one we have 8, 3, 5. We will start with the rightmost digit which is 5 and place it in the 1's column. Then the next digit is 3. 3 will go in the 10's column. After that we have 8 which will go in the 100's column. The next number we will again start with the rightmost digit which is 2 which will go in the 1's column. Then we have 3 which goes in the tens column and zero which will go in the hundreds column followed by four that will go in the thousands column. Question number two. Find the place value of the underlined digit. First one we have nine five seven and five is underlined so we will write the number five and whatever is on the right of it, that is one digit, that one digit we will convert to zero. So we will get 5050. B, 7841. 8 is underlined. We will write 8 and whatever is on the right of 8. Here we have 4 and 1. These two digits we will convert to zero and write after 8. So we will get the place value as 800. Question number 3. Find the difference of the place values of two sixes in 8667. Place value of 6 at 100's place will be 600. Place value of 6 at 10's place will be 60. Now we have to find the difference of the two place values which is going to be 600 minus 60. Now you can write it here like this 600 minus 60 and show the calculation or you can do it in the rough column and straight away write the answer here as 540. Question number 4. Which number has 8 hundreds, 4 thousands, 7 tens and 9 ones? Here we have 4 options. So let us make a number out of it and see which one tallies. Let me put the place value table here. The first thing given to us is 800. So under 100's column we will write 8. After that we have 4 thousands. Under 1000's column we will write 4. 7 tens. Under 10's column we will write 7. And 9 ones. Under 1's column we will write 9. Now this is what the number should be. 4, 8, 7, 9. Now it does not tally with the first one, it does not tally with the second one. The third one, it does tally 4, 8, 7, 9. So C option is the correct answer. State true or false. A. The place value of 7 in 7890 is 7890. This is false. If you have to find the place value of 7, then you will convert all the things on the right to 0. So place value will become 7000. So it is false. Coming to the next one. The place value of 0 in 7092 is 100. We take the digit and then all everything on the right we are converting it to 0. So we get 3 zeros, not 100. That means place value of 0 is 0. So this is also false. C part. 
the place value of 2 in 2654 is 2000. So we'll take 2 and we have 3 digits after it. So we will convert them to 0 and we will get 2000 which is 2000. So this is true. Topic for today. Successor of a number, predecessor of a number, consecutive number, skip counting. Successor of a number. The number which comes just after a given number is called its successor. Example, 34 is the successor of 33. It comes after 33. If we add 1 to a number, we get its successor. Like 33 plus 1 is equal to 34. If you see it on the number line, from 33, the next is 34. So when we go to the next number on the number line, we get its successor. On the number line, the number on the right is called the successor. Predecessor of a number. The number which comes just before a given number is called its predecessor. Example, 28 is the predecessor of 29. If we subtract 1 from a given number, we get its predecessor. 29 minus 1 is 28. If we see on the number line, when we go backwards, that is towards left, we get the predecessor. From 29, when we move back to 28, we get the predecessor. On a number line, the number on the left of the given number is its predecessor. Consecutive number. In a given pattern, any pair of numbers written adjacent to each other are consecutive numbers. For example, in the pattern 300, 305, 310, 315, 320, 325, 330, we have the consecutive numbers are 300, 305, then 305, 310, 310, 315, 315, 320, 320, 325, 325 and 330. So these are all pairs of consecutive numbers. Skip counting. When we write some numbers with a fixed gap between every two consecutive numbers, then this pattern of numbers is called skip counting. Let us take an example. Skip counting by 2. Here we have 20. We add 2 to it, we get 22. Then we add 2 to 22, we get 24. Then we add 2 to 24, we get 26. Next comes skip counting by 5. Now whatever number is given, we will add 5 to it and find the next number, then the next number and so on. So here 30 is given to us. We will add 5 and get 35. Then we add 5 to 35 and get 40. Then we add 5 to 40 and get 45. Next comes skip counting by 10. Here whatever number is given, we will add 10 to it and find the next number. 615 is given. So when we add 10 to it, we get 625. Now when we add 10 to 625, we get 635. Again, when we add 10 to 635, we get 645. Next example is skip counting by thousands. So here, the difference between each number is of thousand. Let's look at the first number, 4426. And when we add thousand to it, we get 5426. Then when we add thousand to 5426, we get 6426. Then when we add thousand to 6426, we get 7426. Now let us do a worksheet to enhance our understanding. Question number 1. Write all the numbers lying between A996 and 1000, B2998 and 3002. Question number 2. Write the successor of each of the following numbers. 9521 B3999 
Question number three. Write the predecessor of each of the following number. 5208B7000. Question four. Write the next three numbers for each of the following. A4268, B2007. Question five. Counting by twos, write the numbers starting from A8268. Question six. Counting by fives, write numbers starting from 9527. Question number seven. Counting by tens, write the numbers starting from 1820. Question eight. Counting by hundreds. Write numbers starting from 3020. Question 9. Counting by thousands. Write numbers starting from 5632. Question 10. Write the smallest and the greatest number of four digit. This brings us to the end of the worksheet. I wish you luck with the worksheet. Until we meet again. Stay safe, stay happy.